It's a wonderful promise. That every single sin I've committed in my life can be cleansed and forgiven in a, mo in a moment. See, that has to be the first step. Because God cannot deal with us as long as we have got this guilt of sin. And by His grace, He blots it out. Praise God. And by His grace, He blots it out. What do we have to do? We must confess that we have sinned. If you don't admit that you are a sinner, you cannot be forgiven. The conditions are very simple. Let me just mention three of them. Number one, you must confess. I am a sinner. You don't have to confess all the hundred thousand sins you committed in your life. None of us can do that. What do I have to do? Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned so many times. In my thoughts, in my words, in my actions, in my attitudes to people, and in the wrong motive with which I did so many good things also. So many sins in my life, Lord. So many secret sins I'm even ashamed to let anybody know. I, I confess them to you. That's number one. The second thing is, I must be willing to turn from it. I'm not asking you to get victory over it. That is another step. For example, if you are an angry type of person, God's not asking you to Get victory over anger before he forgives you. No. It may take 10 years to get victory over anger. But he'll forgive you now. If you acknowledge it is a sin. Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm always getting angry. I'm getting I want to give it up. The question is, do you want to give it up? That is the meaning of repentance. That's the Tamil translation is beautiful. It's a turning of your mind completely around. My mind had one attitude to anger, now it has got another attitude to anger. To all sin. I had a certain attitude towards cheating people. Now I've got another attitude towards cheating. So first I acknowledge my sin. And then I turn from it even though I don't have victory over it. I want to give it up. There's one more condition. When God forgives you so much, He says you must forgive other people the few things that they have done against you. You have done many crores of sins and God forgives you. The two or three sins somebody has done against you. If you cannot forgive them. God says I will, not, I will not forgive you. And that is the reason why many Christians are not forgiven.